Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to explore some solutions for some of the most asked questions regarding the pose link workflow. Let's first look at the best practice for relinking your character. You can see that the current character in ZBrush is situated on the ground plane. Let's start by sending him to Character Creator via GoZ. In the GoZ Options panel, be sure to uncheck the Match CC Model Scale checkbox. The reason for this is because we've already set the model size using the resize function of the pose tool in ZBrush before sending the character to Character Creator. In CC, the model imports in halfway through the ground plane, however when we enter into Accurate mode it will automatically be repositioned to stand on the ground plane. After you finish the rigging process, click on Accurate once again to leave rigging mode and then find Go Z on the toolbar and use the Relink template to establish the link between the models in both programs. Be sure to choose Current Pose and once again uncheck the Match CC Model Scale checkbox. Once relinked, both actors will be positioned consistently on the ground plane. Another thing to look at is the Polygroups feature, which is used to divide the model into different body parts or accessories for more flexible editing. When sending everything to CC via the Pose Link workflow, we don't need to worry about any missing Polygroups data. Once the rigging is done in Accurig and the model is relinked back with the one in ZBrush via GoZ, we can return to ZBrush and see that the Polygroups data is still maintained. This is also the case when sending new poses to ZBrush as well. If I send an updated pose to ZBrush, you can see the Polygroups data remains the same. In regards to subdivision, it's important to ensure that the lowest subdivision level of your ZBrush model is less than 300,000 quads or 600,000 triangles for the best performance with Accurig. The total poly count for the character on the screen is nearly 50 million, but this is for the highest subdivision level. If I click on All Low in the Pose Tool plugin, it will toggle the subdivision level of all subtools to the lowest level, in this case down to 5 million polys. If we send the model to CC at this level, you'll see that it actually totals over 9 million polys. If I try to take it into Accurig at this level, it will bring up the warning window indicating that performance may lag at this level, depending on your CPU performance. Regardless, it's highly recommended to reduce your poly count to under the 600,000 level for best results. You can find tutorials on our Religion Courses page that go into more depth on how to do this. Lastly, let's explore some tips for mesh naming rules. In ZBrush, you can duplicate subtool names, however, when sending a model to CC, we need to ensure unique naming conventions. In this scenario, we have three subtools with the same R ring name, so I'll just rename them to A, B, and C. You also need to ensure that there are no spaces in the subtool names as well. In this case, I'm using the underscore. Finally, you also want to ensure that you use letters as name suffixes as opposed to numbers. Following these rules will avoid any issues you might experience transferring assets between the two programs. That's it for this tutorial guys. Be sure to check out our other Pose Link tutorials for more info on this awesome tool. I'll see you in the next one.